तुलसी सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरीय गोष्ठीपति वंदे गुरुपद द्वंद भक्तबिंद समित श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्रीनंदनंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोद गोपीजन सयुक्त बिंदन मनोहर वाशाकुवश कृपा सिंधु भवच पति पावने वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम मुकन करोति वाचाल पंगुल हटिगिरी यत्तमहंग वंदे परमाधव बृंदाव तुलसीदेव वै पिया वै केशव सच स्नभक्तिपदेवी सत्वत्वी नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरुण चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथोजयो मुदीर संकीर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीयपत्र प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरुभक्ति भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदरुण ध्येय सदा परिभवनमीष्टदोहम तीर्थास्पद शिव विरिंचनुत शरण्य भीतातिहम पुनुतपाल भवदीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चारुणारिंद यत्दपल्लवन खचंद मनीछटाय विस्फुर्जीत किमी गोवधुष्वदर्शि पूर्णागरस सागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामयी कदा श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवसदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवसदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनुका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कपितर कमलायताक्ष भीषाबरो दिजबरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणावतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरासुरो दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दिन भावे न सदा नरान गंगा तरंग रमणीय जटा कलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषी तो वाम भागम नारायणो प्रिय मनंग मदापहारम वाराणसीपुरपति भज विश्वनाथ वागीशजुस्व वदने लक्ष्मीश च वक्षसी यस्ते हृदय संवीत सिंहमहम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 
कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे तम भक्ति योग परिभावित हित सरो जो आससे सुतेक्षित पतन नुनात पुंसम यद यद धियात उर्गा विभावयति तद बपू प्रणय से सदनु ग्रहाय गौर्य गोष्ठीपति श्रीशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी बहुपात परमंश जगदगुरु सेट दैन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सफिशियंट प्रीचिंग शुड बी देयर इन फ्रंट ऑफ माई सेल्फ बिफोर गोइंग फॉर पीचिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सफिशियंट प्रीचिंग शुड बी देयर इन फ्रंट ऑफ माई सेल्फ If I am over sanguine, that if I am over sanguine, that my preaching in front of myself is okay, then and only then I can go for preaching. Otherwise, not. Simon Mahaprabhu wanted to engage in Itananda Prabhu in a main preaching. I mean, the sole authority of preaching. Goranga Mahaprabhu wanted to engage Nityananda Prabhu in this preaching. So Nityananda Prabhu is the sole authority of preaching field. Whatever, whoever doing whatever preaching, all under the guidance of Nityananda Prabhu. One day Mahaprabhu calling Nityananda Prabhu secretly. One day Mahaprabhu calling Nityananda Prabhu secretly. I mean, sitting in one place in inside Gombira Mandir, and requesting him that you will have to preach there in Bangla. There is nobody there. If you every year coming here, then who can preach? Who can think about those bonded soul, fallen soul? So, it is my suggestion. Is my request. You don't come here in Chaturmasa period. Better you can stay in Bangla and preach, speak Hari Katha, and you can Nam Sankirtan. You can do to deliver all devotees. Don't come here all the time. But Nitananda Prabhu not going to obey. He like to meet with Mahaprabhu. Without meeting directly, though Gaurang Mahapu always there with Nitananda Prabhu, still he like to come to Prabhu directly. That is the reason. And what kind of secret discussion took place between Mah Mahaprabhu and Nitananda? Nobody knows. Some day Mahaprabhu discussing with Nitananda Prabhu such a secret thing. Outside people they don't know what discussing. Then later on, they came to know when Nitananda Prabhu entered into Girastha life. Then although all other devotees, they could realize something regarding this matter. So many contradiction, confusion, and also different kind of opinion. They are criticizing about Nitananda Prabhu. He being a sannyasi, how going to enter into Grihastu Asam? That is the main question. They are criticizing Nitananda Prabhu. Even one big acharya, he wrote, "I was bound to give answer." Vishnu Prabhu, he write one big book in which he was writing. Nitananda Prabhu never married. Janwa Basuda, they are only disciple of Nitananda Prabhu. They are not married. I mean, he want to prove. That Sinibas Acharya is wrong, Bindavan Dasyagur Mahasaya is wrong, Chaitanya Charitam is all wrong. He is only right. He wanted to prove. There is still that book they are selling. From our Gaudiya Vaishnava society, nobody is going to take. They have no headache. Everybody is busy with their own matter. Anyway, so Nithyananda Prabhu, why he was bound to enter into Grihastha Ashram? He already told in Chaitanya Bhagavat. He already, but nobody looking. Nityananda Prabhu speaking to Goranga 
that according to your indication, according to your desire, I am doing everything. Now people criticizing why I enter into Grihastha Ashram, they don't know. According to your desire, I was bound to enter for preaching properly. Pro properly preaching means sannyasi, they cannot uh, you know, mix freely. Sannyasi cannot mix freely with all Grihastha people. Nityananda Prabhu was ordered by Gauranga Mahaprabhu to enter. Nitanand was speaking, whole world laughing at me. Why I am going to enter into grass? In, in Chaitanya Bhagavad, it is already written. This way, our Guru Bhargo can realize there is some indication. Nitananda Prabhu, anyway, is Baloram Nitananda Bhagavan. About Gauranga Mahaprabhu also, he is Bhagavan himself. Nitananda, first expansion. And Nityananda was the actually Avadut Sanyasi. Nityananda Prabhu was actually Avadut Sanyasi. Avadut Sanyasi. Not like uh, other Sanyasis, was Avadut Sanyasi. And in Bhagavatam it is written Gyananishto Virakto Ba Madhvakto Ba Anafekshakaha Salinganam Asramam Stakta Charit Abhidi Gochara. It is written. In Bhagavatam, Gyananishto Virakto Ba Madhvakto Ba Anafekshakaha Salinganam Asramam Stakta Charet Abhidi Gochara. Those who are reaching up to that level, they can easily open their lingamin syndrome by the help of which you can detect which ashram he is. He can throw everything. By the help of which we can detect this Brahmachari, Sanyasi, or Kriyasto. That lingo he can keep or cannot keep. So those who are Gyananisto or Biraktoba, Madhbhaktoba, Anapekshaka, those who are totally free, they have no connection with this you know, material world in the sense they are not going to think about any material thing, 100% busy with Bhagavad Seva, Paramahansa Avastha. They can leave all their symptoms, clothes, everything. Only this way they can teach. So Nityananda was, by the indication of Gorang Map, was bound to enter into Grihastha Ashram. But anyway, even after entering into Grihastha Ashram, his sannyas brutto was not disturbed. You can say how? You can say how? Ordinary people cannot understand. First of all, we should understand what is the meaning of sannyas. We should understand what is the inner meaning of sannyas. Inner meaning of sannyas is to dedicate yourself completely unto the lotus feet of Bhagavan for his seva. Sannyas means short plus nas. You are going to deposit your all yourself unto the lotus feet of Bhagavan. Sannyas, short yukto nas. Nasman, you are going to keep yourself, dedicate yourself unto lotus feet of Bhagavan. So, this way Nityananda Prabhu all the time doing seva of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Sanyas, the meaning of sanyas, Mahaprabhu already told from Bhagavatam, Srimad Bhagavatam, one sloka. Etam paratmanishtayo madhyasitam purvatanir mahadbir mahadbir. Aham tarishami duranta param tamaha mukundhangri nishayavi. Etam samasthaya paratmanishtha madhajitan purvatanir mahadbir. Aham tarishami duranta param tamaha mukundhangri nishayavi. It's a Bhagavad sloka. Mahaprabhu, while taking sannyas, after taking, speaking this. This is the resolution of a sannyas to dedicate himself unto a lotus feet of Bhagavan, his seva. By kai, manabhak, by body, speech and mind. That is the actual meaning of sannyas. So in this way, Vishnu Piyā Devi is a topmost sannyas. Shrimati Lakshmi, Amadeya, Radharani is topmost sannyas. In this way, if you calculate, maybe external, no danda, no red cloth, nothing there. Shrimati Radharani is topmost sannyas. Vishnu Piyā Devi is topmost sannyas. 
So this way, Nityananda Prabhu, anyway, not going to break. Sanyas Brato by externally breaking, by the desire of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. So outside people all started criticizing about him. Why he is going to do this, that? Preaching, Nityananda Prabhu going massive, mean, massive preaching is only applicable for Gauranga, Nityananda. Directly when coming, this way, Nityananda Prabhu preaching, all doing Nam Sankirtan everywhere, this way, doing Nityananda Prabhu. But still, Nityananda Prabhu coming to meet with Gorang Mahaprabhu, he is not going to stop coming because he feel interest to see Mahaprabhu in front of Mahaprabhu, he feel very... Uh, anyway, so now Ratha Yatra actually going to uh, end. After Ratha Yatra, devotees can go. In between, I forgot to speak. That Gauranga Mahaprabhu, uh, one day after Ratha Yatra is over just, devotees now going away. All devotees, Mahaprabhu giving their permission. But our uh, Rubu Gosai Bhad not going. All devotees, those who are coming uh, from Bangla, here, there, after Ratha Yatra, they are going, after Ratha Yatra, after Ratha Yatra, they are staying for four months. After that, they are going. After Ratha Yatra, not going away. Before Ratha Yatra, they are coming. After that, they are staying there. After four months, Chaturma Sabrato, they are going away. And Nityananda Prabhu, Mahaprabhu wanted to discuss with him this point. This is over. Now, all, when all devotees are going away, they are coming in front of Mahaprabhu. They are all taking permission from Mahaprabhu. Prabhu give permission. We can go back to home. Then Gauranga Mahaprabhu cannot speak anything, only shedding tears. Mahaprabhu don't like to leave all devotees. Only shedding tears. And what to do? This way, somehow they manage and coming out of the room, all devotees, they are going away. Bangla. Gradually, they are going away. Bangla, they don't like to go, and Mahaprabhu also don't like to leave them. So strong relationship, loveful relationship between them and Mahaprabhu. Now, Mahaprabhu going to take bath in ocean, going to Jagannath temple, every day doing. Now, one day, Mahaprabhu going to, every day going, one day Mahaprabhu discover one plum leaf, something written in the, in the rooftop, because their rooftop is not uh, like this. That time, Haridas Thakur, every day Mahaprabhu coming, every day Mahaprabhu going to meet with Haridas Thakur and going to meet with Rupa Goswami Pad. And suddenly, with Sarup is coming and discover one uh, written leaflet there, something written. Then, Rupa Goswami Pad was not there. That time, Rupa Goswami Pad was not there. He gone to ocean to take bath or somewhere else. Mahaprabhu coming and watching that leaflet there. I mean, that pamp, I mean, written, uh, what is called, plum, plum leaf there. And after that reading, after reading, Mahaprabhu gone mad. So, Ananda. Mahaprabhu asking, how Rup Goswami Pad, how Rup can understand my heart? How Rup was, how Rup was successful to understand my heart? So that he is, he is writing this sloka. What is this sloka? During Rathiyatar period, Mahaprabhu expressing the bhava of Radharani, going to take Krishna, Krishna riding on chariot and going. That time, Mahaprabhu used to sing something which is very special. All other devotees, they don't understand. Seito Pranananath, Seito Pranananath, Pailu, Jahanagi, Madana, Dahane, Juri Genu. This is okay. This song, everybody, but some Kabbopoka Sloka is speaking. That nobody understands why Prabhu is going to recite this sloka. Mahaprabhu, don't understand. Nobody. Rupa Goswami Pad, particularly that year, 
particularly that year Rupa Goswami Pad was there in Rathri Yatra. So Rupa Goswami Pad heard the slok Prabhu speaking. He memorized, he wanted to write one special sloka in his lip, I mean plum plant. And he was supposed to keep inside, he was supposed to give in, in any book. That sloka Mahaprabhu watching was under. How Rupa Goswami Pad could realize and showing the slok to showing the slok to Sarup Gosai. Priyo Swayam Krishna Sahachari Kurikhet Tamilito Swaham Radha Tadidam Sangama Sukham Tathapi Antaha Khelat Mamo Madhura Muruli Panchabu Juse Jomi uh, What is called? Jo, uh, uh, jo, uh, what is called uh, Jamuna. Jamuna Pulino Bihara is Priyati. Mane ha, it is written here that Kurukhetto, when Mahaprabhu, uh, when Mahaprabhu is going to get this Baba, actually Bhagavan Sri Krishna, when meeting with all Brajavasis, especially with Radharani, everything, everybody, that time this was the Baba of Radharani. When Krishna meeting with Radharani in a solitary place, all Gopikas there, that time Radharani feeling, Radharani feeling something, the special. He speaking, she is speaking that same Krishna, same I am Radha, I am going to meet with Krishna, but this place is Kurukhetra. Priyo Swayam Krishna Sahachari. Sa Kurikhetta Milito Saham Radha Tadidam Sangam Same Ananda Krishna and I am there, but it is Kurukhetra. It is Kurukhetra. So my mind likes to go to the solitary place of Vrindavan with Krishna. Kalindi Pulino Vipinayo Sprihayati Me. My mind is, you know, always, you know, I, am, I think. If I can take Krishna to uh, Vrindavan, then I can get so. This sloka, Mahaprabhu was very happy to understand that how Rupa Goswami Pad could, could, could realize this point. After that, discussing with Sarup Gosai. Sarup Gosai speaking, well, he uh, understand your heart because you are giving full kipa to him. He can understand your heart he can understand your heart only because your full kipa is there in him. Mahaprabhu speaking, yes. When I met with him, when I met with him in Allahabad, I saw he is the topmost candidate, very nice, suitable. So I was bound to keep all Rasatattva, everything he wanted to keep to him. You also. Mahaprabhu requesting to Sarubo Sai, also you can speak about secret Rasutattva to him. Also you can speak, there is some special Rasutattva secret, you can speak in front of him, because he is the appropriate candidate, this way. So, Rupa Goswami Pad, after staying there for some time, Rupa Goswami Pad actually taking leave, is going there, to Vrindavan, to compile all Rasutattva books, everything there. This way, Rupa Goswami Pad gone. Now Mahaprabhu gradually going to enter into secret Leela. Now. But still some time is there. In between so many things happened. One brother of Raya Ramananda, one brother of Raya Ramananda, he is taking money from he is taking money from king when raja pratap Rudyo, it is his duty he is a paid man he is taking money from king he is always going to some horse market horse horse market going and selecting horse and buying and giving to king so naturally some deposit money is there some deposit money is there with, with uh, that 
brother of Raya Ramanando. So he is doing this seva. This way, all money is there and uh, why he is buying horse and money, whatever money deposit, they are going to cut. But by chance, the son of Prataparudra discovered jhana. He discovered so many, so much money is already there. He is not doing money actually, he spent. All that money is spent for what different kind of seva, what it, money is sent, spent already. Then the son of Raja Pratapuruddha is going to give, threat him. Threat him. You will have to give money back, otherwise you have to give, get punishment. Or you give horse or money back. This way, he was threatened by the jhana, I mean the son of Raja Pratapuruddha. And there is some system when somebody, uh, king going to give punishment, there is some high place. From there, the, you know, at present it is not there. Previously it was there. One very sharp edge, I mean, iron rod is there. From there you can throw that a man can die. This way, he was placed up and uh, the son of Radha Prataparudra going to threat him. Then all devotees, some of, some of them going to Mahaprabhu and giving information, please you save, please you try to save, then uh, your devotee he is, you try to save because all, for, like to, they like to kill him this way. Mahaprabhu become angry, Mahaprabhu speaking, Mani, Taken from king should not be spent for personal purpose. So they are uh, they are demanding their personal money, king. So I have nothing to do. I cannot do anything. And Jana doing that, Jana sitting up and always chanting the name of Gauranga. Jana sitting up and always calling Gauranga Mahap. And Mahaprabhu here like to ignore because he, he Mahaprabhu wanted to show the more neutral mood. I have nothing to do. King going to demand his own money. So you have no right to spend that money. From. So what I can do? I have nothing to do. At the same time, devotees time to time coming and giving information to Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu, I'm very sorry. Finally, this name, finally, King Pratabharuddha came to know. This is the condition. Raja Pratabharuddha giving information. Don't kill him. King speaking, I have no information about that. My son doing this anyway. So after that, he was rescued, he was made free. And all money, everything, excuse, no problem, no problem. You need not give money. And also giving some cloth, special honor to that. So, Krishna Das Kubira Goswami writing, where is, where is the question of death? sentence. Where is the question of death sentence? And where they are giving honor to honor to that, you know, man, I mean the brother of Radha uh, I mean Rai Ramananda I giving honor this way. That's giving honor. Now actually point is that by the order of Gauranga Mahaprabhu I like to speak something about also Madhu Goswami Maharaj. By the order of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, direct when Mahaprabhu with uh, all Panchatattva and all devotees, with all is came in directly when, when Prabhupada used to do, Prabhupada was doing Koti Nam Yogo, Karor Nam Yogo. Koti Nam Joggo, Mahaprabhu was doing, uh, uh, Prabhupada was doing, Mahaprabhu, all his parshat, all they came and given order, you will have to go and for preaching. This way, by the order of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, our Prabhupada started preaching all over the world. And by the order of Prabhupada, our Madhugusi Maharaj, they also started preaching. This way, so Madhav Goswami Maharaj is the only person 
among all our Guru Bhargo, who started preaching in a very remote place. All different remote places, different remote places in Assam, Assam jungle. Also, he started preaching there in uh, what you call Punjab. Punjab is not remote place. Punjab is a Mayavad belt. Madhav Goswami Maharaj only, he took trouble. Prabhupada went to Varanasi, he preached everything. But not Prabhupada. Prabhupada directly not going to Punjab, here, there, nothing. But by the order of Prabhupada, Madhu Goswami took the responsibility for preaching this way, massive preaching. Massive preaching is not applicable here, but still, by the order of Prabhupada, he started preaching. And uh, Assam or different forests, they all started. So many Assamese devotees came. One day, one, one day, one incident happened. One day, Madhav Goswami Maharaj preaching in Assam in some place, in some place, and they make two group. Madhav Goswami making two group. One group of disciples they are going some place, and another group going to some other place. This way, Madhu Goswami are preaching in one place and other devotees, they are also preaching in one place. This way, preaching going on. Suddenly, some devotees coming and giving information to Madhu Goswami Maharaj that all your disciples, I mean the preaching party, they were beaten by some village man, beaten heavily. All their blood coming, break their head this way. So, this was informed. Why? Because those village people, they believe, they don't believe in Bhagavan. They believe something else. So when this kind of preaching going on, they could not tolerate. They wanted to beat them. This way, preaching party was, you know, scattered. And some devotees somehow reaching the place of Madhu Goswami were preaching going on and speaking that Maharaj, this way, all your preaching party beaten heavily, this way, their condition is very poor. Then Madhu Goswami Maharaj, after Madhu Goswami Maharaj only putting his head on, Ha Krishna, only putting hand on head, Ha Krishna, this way. After that, Ma, actually Madhu Goswami Maharaj is not going to take any revenge against anybody. So this way, that night, those who wanted to attack, those who wanted to attack the preaching party, all in their all respective house, all mad elephant, going and breaking all rooms and everything, all broken. Mad elephant, by the desire of Bhagavan, particularly those house, those who wanted to beat devotees, those devotees, uh, and the devotees, they wanted to beat devotees. All their respective house, they are gradually elephant, mad elephant coming from forest. They are going to break all, everything. A room, children, all, everything killed. And this way, Madhu Goswami Maharaj preaching still. There is so many, so many you know, impediments. In Punjab also, he used to preach in Punjab, different places. Such preaching was not done like that. All around, everywhere. Punjab, full Punjab, Chandigarh, etc. All, everywhere he started preaching and, uh, you know, giving initiation also this way. He started preaching everywhere. Everywhere preaching he done. And when he was with Prabhupada that time, some incident I can speak. Some incident. When Prabhupada wanted to open one temple in Assam Sarbhok, Sarbhok. Prabhupada wanted to open one temple in Sarbhok. Sarbhok. There actually all erection, everything, construction almost. Now temple uh, installation, temple and deity installation. Now Prabhupada went there in Sarbhog, all devotees taking Prabhupada on the, on the back of elephant. Prabhupada, they are going. 
somehow Prabhupada staying there because there was not majestic arrangement. Very simple arrangement. I have seen the room of Prabhupada, tin. Tin shed, somehow Prabhupada to stay there. Then Madhukusi Maharaj or our Ramananda Prabhu, all they were there. Madhukusi Maharaj was there. Now, some devotees, some responsible person should be there to take up all the seva. Prabhupada already gave some responsibility to somebody, but they are knowing, they are not doing their perfect seva. Then Madhukusi Maharaj, by the request of uh, God, God brothers, going to inform to Prabhupada. Prabhupada, you have given responsibility to them, but they are not doing any seva properly. They are not done. How we can do this seva? Then Prabhupada is going to chide him. Prabhupada speaking, why you are going to complain? All Guru Seva is your seva. If somebody is going to cooperate with you, it's okay. If not going to cooperate, it's still okay. All your seva. Don't complain with me. This way, all there was that seva. After that, another incident happened. All, all God brothers of Madhuku I mean, Vaigya Brahmacharya speaking, you should request Prabhupada one thing. Because we have no time to do one lakh hari now. But Prabhupada said the rules, we will have to do one lakh hari now. But we have no time to do. This way, when requesting to, uh, to Madhu Goswami, I mean, Hayagya Brahmachari, Hayagya Brahmachari speaking, you can request to Prabhupada. You can request to Prabhupada. You, the, Prabhupada love you very much, so why not you go? Request. Then, Madhu Goswami, Hayagya Brahmachari entering the room of Prabhupada and uh, requesting him. Uh, Prabhupada could realize he liked to speak something. So, Prabhupada speaking, you like to speak something? Yes, I like to speak something. What? Well, actually, we are doing Harinam. But one like Harinam, we cannot do because whole day and night we are busy with Seva. So, how to complete, how to complete one like Harinam? Then Prabhupada speaking, night time what you are doing? Night time what you are doing? I mean, there is no compromise. You must do Harinam, one lakh Harinam, and after that you can sleep. That was the instruction of. So Madhu Gusi Maharaj is preaching, was big preaching. Even our Gosai Maharaj wanted to make one bhajan kutir. Madhu, our Gosai Maharaj wanted to make a small bhajan kutir, they can do. But Madhu Gusi Maharaj said, no, you are number one great preacher. You have done preaching all over the world, so you will have to make temple big way. That they, this way, all the arrangement. Now you see Nandan Nachaji Bhavan, that all arrangement done by Sri Madhu Kusima. You say, I cannot allow. You will have to make big temple. This way, gradually, our Guru Bhargo, our, our Paramahansa Maharaj also, this way, all they got help from, they received help from. Sami Maharaj also, they all, by the help, by the help of Madhu Maharaj, they started making temple, everything. So, this way, now Gauranga Mahaprabhu, day by day, want to end, day by day, entering into Antar Leela. Day by day, Mahaprabhu going to enter into Antar Leela. I mean, secret Leela. The reason for why he already appeared, went to enter into secret Leela. And inside Gombira temple, Mahaprabhu's mood is now changing. Day by day, the mood of Mahaprabhu changing. Now, previously Mahaprabhu used to dance and sing openly with all devotees. Now, day by day, he would like to withdraw himself. Day by day, he liked to withdraw himself gradually. After that, what happened? Rai Ramananda already there and Saurabh Gosai already there. Rai Ramananda and Saurabh Gosai, both of them, Mahaprabhu now entering into Gambira Mandir, most of the time uh, doing Harinam and, and Rai Ramananda, Saurabh Damodar going to help him. Rai Ramananda, Saurabh Damodar going to help him because 
time to time, different kind of bhavas, time to time, different kind of bhavas appearing inside the heart of Mahaprabhu. And accordingly, Sarup Gosai used to sing song and Raya Mahasa used to speak Harikatha. This way, Mahaprabhu somehow going to check himself. But most of the time, indifferent, don't thinking about Krishna with Radhava. Not sleeping, night time, cannot sleep properly, going outside with some anxiety to get Krishna. Sometime, night time also, most of the time, Mahaprabhu going outside in the garden and sitting there, looking at the moon, crying this way, gradually this kind of Baba coming out. Mahaprabhu, inside Kumbira Mandir. Raya Ramananda, Sarudvamadar, going to speak Harikatha, Kirtan, all the time, even night time. So, Govindo become angry. Govindo speaking heavily to Raya Ramananda, Sarudvamadar. Sarudvamadar and Raya Ramananda, they are number one devotee, I mean the eternal person of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Still, our Govindo going to going to speak heavily. What you are speaking to, what you are speaking to Prabhu, you both, what you to speaking to Prabhu, so that Prabhu always crying. You cannot speak anything good so that our Prabhu can laugh. Atat Govindo cannot understand. Na? It's like simple heart, like our Sochima speaking this way. So. When night time, 11 o'clock over, 12 o'clock over, then Govinda used to come and speak complain. What you are speaking? Prabhu car crying whole day and night, cannot take any rest. Then that time, Raya Ramananda, Sarup Damodar, taking this, let us go. Govinda became angry. Let us go away. This way, Raya Ramananda, Sarup Damodar, going away. But they can go for some hours. Immediately, when, before sunrise, they used to come. Sarukdamanda actually used to live in Gambira Mandir, uh, nearby. And uh, our Raya Ramananda used to stay a little bit far, there. This way, one day, Raya Ramananda coming with full anxiety. Last night, we saw Prabhu in a very uh, dangerous condition. When Prabhu cannot take any rest. That time, Raya Ramananda coming, and whenever he coming, he find Mahaprabhu is not there. Mahaprabhu not there. And Sankar Pandit, Sankar Pandit, he was giving the responsibility to check Prabhu. Sankar Pandit was giving responsibility to take care of Mahaprabhu all the time. What is happening when? All the time. This way, Sankar Pandit is sleeping. And Mahaprabhu not there. Raya Ramananda coming and shouting. Shouting. Sankar, Sankar. Then Sankar get up. Where is Prabhu? We give responsibility to you. We are giving responsibility to you about our Prabhu. Where Prabhu gone? Your sleeping is, you know, main important thing. Where Prabhu gone? Then Sankar Prabhu speaking, Really, I cannot do seva of Prabhu all the time. I like to do seva, but I need to take rest. Somehow I sleep whole night. It was the responsibility of Sankar Pandit. When Mahaprabhu sleeping inside room, then Sankar Pandit taking the leg of Mahaprabhu. Sankar Pandit, when Mahaprabhu sleeping, then Sankar Pandit going to catch the lotus feet of Mahaprabhu this way. Because Mahaprabhu is now and then going out of room. Now and then Mahaprabhu going out of room because of anxiety like to get Krishna this way. So this way Shankar Pandit getting up and speaking to Raya Mahasaya, Raya Mahasaya. Yes, my sense, my personal interest, I like to sleep actually. I like to take rest. I cannot do seva of Prabhu. But this time there is no problem. Actually Prabhu Actually, Prabhu gone to take bath in ocean just now. 
there is no problem, you can come back. This way, Raya Ramananda getting satisfaction, this way. So many Leelas going on. One day, Mahaprabhu, Sarup Damodar, and all other devotees, they are going, they are going and traveling near ocean. Ocean, near ocean. All their devotees, they are running, moving around ocean. Suddenly, suddenly, they discover one song coming up from up. Nobody there. You cannot see the man who is singing. You cannot see the man, but the, but the kirtan is there. Kirtan is there. Everybody can hear. Kirtan is there. Who is singing? After that, some devotee is speaking. Well, it is a kit, it is a voice of Choto Haridas. It is a voice of Choto Haridas. Choto Haridas singing. Choto Haridas singing. And some devotee passing remark. Maybe Choto Haridas committed suicide. That's why he has taken this ghost bath. I mean, Brahmo, Rakshas, Brahmo. But Sarup Gosai become very angry. Sarup Gosai, it cannot so happen. He is not Brahma Rakhas. It is Choto Haridas. Sure, his voice, tone, we can hear is Choto Haridas. But, but he is not Brahma Rakhas. Maybe he is uh, going to stay in the form of Gandharva. Sarup Gosai, knowing Topmo Siddhanta Bhid. Sarup Gosai speaking, he has done seva whole life. He has done sab Mahaprabhu whole life, Kirtan seva. So, he, he cannot take this kind of ghost mart. Whole life he has done seva Prabhu Kipa, somehow. So, he has taken the birth of Gandharva. Gandharva is actually Gandharva Kinno. They are Bhur Bhuva Swa Mahao Janatote. They are staying up. They are very expert in singing and singing, dancing and playing midanga, everything. They are very expert. Those are Gandharva, one kind of Devjoni. You can say it is one kind of Devjoni. They are also Devjoni. Devjoni. They are one kind of Devota. But they have some separate place where they are doing. So this way, Sarum Gosai speaking, it cannot so happen. Whole life he has done seva of Prabhu. So how we can, how you can say he has taken ghost bath, not that. He has taken actually Gandharva bath to do seva. Externally, externally, Maha, externally Mahaprabhu giving punishment to him. Externally Mahaprabhu giving punishment to him by internally going to bless him so that he can get this and Gandharva Bhatt, secretly he can go on doing seva of Prabhu. So now, time to time, this kind of thing happening. Sometime, Mahaprabhu, they are inside Gambira Mandir. Three gate, three gate, first gate, second gate and third gate. I mean, main gate. This way, gate is closed, glaze is closed. But still, sometime it happens so. Mahaprabhu is not there, inside Gambira. Mahaprabhu was there inside Gambira Mandir. Inside is Bhajan Kuti. But suddenly devotees discover Prabhu is not there. Prabhu missing. Prabhu missing totally. Then all devotees, three gate, first gate, second gate, third gate, all closed. How it is possible that Prabhu gone? After that, they, they start searching Prabhu with hurricane, everything, total, all around. They are searching Prabhu, where gone. Time to time, sometime Prabhu, uh, sometime they could find Prabhu there near Jagannath temple. Near Jagannath temple, there is one place where those prasadam not sold. They are going to put there. Go Mata, going to take prasadam there. Sometime Mahaprabhu lying there, unconscious. Mahaprabhu lying there, like tortoise, you know, all hand and leg, everything gone inside. Mahaprabhu, tall figure, 
but all hand and leg, everything gone inside, very short figure lying there. Devotees sometimes discover there, near Jagannath temple, they start crying. Somehow, when they start doing, because this way not possible, Prabhu totally unconscious. Even in the case of Simati Radharani, in Vrindavan Leela, this kind of, this kind of, you know, thing was not visible. At the time of Radharani, when Krishna was there, Krishna doing Leela and Vrindavan, excellent time, Baba. This Baba is abnormal. This kind of Baba was not available even in Vrindavan because he is Rasaraj Mahabhav. He himself is Krishna with full, you know, desire, going to take the form, I mean, take, uh, going to steal the Baba of Radharani and body complexion. This way, somehow devotees then start doing Kirtan, Sankirtan. After doing long Sankirtan, then suddenly, from body, all hand and leg gone inside, like tortoise. Somehow, after doing Sankirtan, hand and leg coming out, normal position, coming back. This way, Raya Ramananda, Sarup Damada, or devotees, they are fed up. They are so anxious when Prabhu can go where, no surety. So dangerous situation. This way, they used to manage somehow. And inside Gambira Mandir, Mahaprabhu used to discuss about Chandidas, Vidyapati, and sometime Brahmu Sangita, actually Mahaprabhu. Chandidas, Baru Chandidas, Vidyapati. Actually, Vidyapati, Baru Chandidas, they are writing or high standard writing of the, all the secret leelas of Krishna. All secret leela of Krishna, they are writing. But that writing, we have no right. We have no right. This is a high level, very high level. Vidyapati, Baru Chandidas, they used to write. Mahaprabhu, day and night getting the taste of that rasa by hearing this Vidyapati, Chandudas, this way, leading life, this way. So, someday, somebody can, can discover Mahaprabhu fall down, a, you know, Mahaprabhu going to jump into ocean. One day, Mahaprabhu missing. One day, Mahaprabhu totally missing, but the three gate is closed. Three gate, one first, second, third gate, all gate glows. But somehow Mahapu missing. Then they started searching, searching all around. They cannot find Mahaprabhu because Mahaprabhu already jumped into ocean. I can discuss. Today I am not feeling comfortable due to some reason. So, devotees actually they are feeling very, devotees they are feeling very bad, where Prabhu gone? Time to time, Mahaprabhu sometime expressing Manjari Bhav, sometime expressing Gopi Bhav, sometime expressing Radharani Bhav. It depends, time to time. Different kind of Bhava. So, sometime expressing Manjari Bhava, sometime expressing Gopi Bhava, or sometime expressing Radharani Bhava. So, it depends. So, not all the time same Baba. So, Mahaprabhu is going to jump into ocean, but nobody knows. Mahaprabhu gone at the bank of ocean and he is thinking Jamuna. Ocean, Mahaprabhu thinking it is Jamuna. Mahaprabhu not thinking that it is ocean. By watching ocean, Mahaprabhu thinking it is Jamuna. So, with this feeling, Mahaprabhu wanted to jump because Mahapu watching the secret Leela of Radha Govinda Gopikas. Gopikas, Jamuna, they are playing water game, everything, Gopikas and Krishna. Mahapu reach the ocean and find all Gopikas, they are making water game, everything in the Jamuna. With this mood, Mahapu also wanted to jump into ocean. After jumping into ocean, then the wave, Mahapu become unconscious. And the wave, big wave, 
wave going to take Mahaprabhu towards Konark. Konark, Konark is actually Sun God Mandir. Konark actually Sun God Temple. Konark actually Sun God Temple. They are Prabhu uh, going away by the way Mahaprabhu going away. Someday, when is this kind of thing happening, one fisherman, he was, with, uh, he was busy catching some fish with the net and boat. He was busy night time catching fish. Finally, he thought one big fish coming in my net. But that was actually Mahaprabhu. He is going to come down and coming to the shore and pulling that net when he is going to pull going to pulling the no then finally discover some strange he cannot understand who is he he thought his ghost there he started running towards his home by leaving all net and everything oh ghost ghost is running towards and in the meantime sarup gosai and all devotees are searching with lantern. Saru Gosai find that, that the fisherman running. Hey, what happened to you? What happened to you? But there is ghost, ghost, don't go there. Ghost, they are ghost. Is the fisherman shouting this way. Saru Gosai says, where is ghost? But they are ghost. Then Saru Gosai could realize something. He is speaking, come on, I know that I know the mantra of ghost. Come. Well, after that, going to put one slab on the head. After that, somehow he, he was nervous. Now he is going to bring when get back his little bit normal condition. You saw the ghost where there. I know how to give treatment to ghost. You saw me. Then actually that fisherman going to guide Mahaprabhu, I going to guide all uh, Sarupusa, everything. Finally, they go a long distance. They find our Prabhu is there in the net, in the net, by the touch, by the touch of, by the touch of Mahaprabhu. But somehow, you are, when he was pulling the net, somehow the body of Mahaprabhu was in contact with that fisherman. So, prema coming. It is not the fear it is not the, you know, the reaction what is showing is due to prema. But he thought, ghast coming. Somehow he touched with the body of Mahaprabhu while pulling the net. Somehow touched with Mahaprabhu. Immediately is getting prema. This was the excellent thing. So in Sarup Gosai, going to discover, Oh my God, this is our Prabhu. Hand and leg all long. Man, all joint. All joint, hand, leg, all joint. It was a special thing. You cannot even, you cannot believe. Hand and leg, all joint used to open and gone separate. Like a sack. Mahapu used to fall down. Nobody understood. Then somehow they crying, how we discover our Prabhu, this condition. After that, Sarup Gosai on devotee, when they started doing Sankirtan for a long time, even they cannot carry Mahaprabhu. Because the condition of Mahaprabhu is such that if you carry, it is not possible. Hand, leg, all hanging. All joint, gone out. This way, it is not possible to carry Mahaprabhu. So this way, they started doing Sankirtan, big Sankirtan. After doing Sankirtan, for a long time, Mahaprabhu coming back to his normal condition. Normal condition, I mean then, Tack, tack, all hand and leg, all joint, went to. After that, Mahaprabhu come back to his normal condition. Mahaprabhu looking around, where I am? Where you bring me? Where you bring me? Mahaprabhu speaking. Sarva said, no, nothing. You come with us. Actually, we don't know how you jump into ocean. And somehow we discover you. And we bring back you this way. Sometimes Mahapu used to express Manjuri Bhav. Some point, sometime used to express Shokhi Bhav, time to time. Sometimes used to express Radharani Bhav. 
It's time to time, Mahaprabhu used to express. Now, gradually, I forgot to speak, Haridas Thakur, one day Mahaprabhu coming to Haridas Thakur, and Haridas Thakur speaking to Mahaprabhu, Prabhu, I think you are going to withdraw your Leela. Haridas Thakur speaking, Ja Prabhu, I think that you are going to withdraw your Leela from this material world. To speak. He is speaking to Mahaprabhu. But that Leela I don't like to see. That kind of Leela I don't like to see. Please don't show me that kind of Leela. I know you are going to withdraw your Leela from this material world. This way, Haridas Thakur when speaking, Mahaprabhu not giving answer anyway. That kind of Leela you should not show me before you leave this, before you leave this material world, you will have to, you will have to take me away. Before you leave this material world, first of all, I like to go away from this material world. First of all, I like to go away from the material world. After that, you can do whatever. Then Mahaprabhu speaking, all my Leela with you, you are the main partner with you. I am doing different kind of Ananda, Namacharya you are. So if you like to go away, how I can live? Mahaprabhu speaking, Bengali speaking. How I can live without you? If you are going to go away from this material world, how I can do? How I can stay? Because with you, all my main Leela is with you. All my game, I mean, what I am doing, different kind of enjoyment, Ananda, with you. How, how you can speak like that? You can. Then Haridas Thakur speaking, don't think that way. Please don't think that way. Please don't think that way. Because in infinity, Brahmanda, there you can get so many partners, so many like me. I am one insect. You can get so many. You are infinity, Brahmanda, there you can play with them. But don't please, Prabhu, going to uh, consider this request. You have to grant this request. Degan Mahaprabhu not speaking anything, Mahaprabhu speaking well. You are doing bhajan of Krishna, doing Harinam. Then surely Krishna can fulfill your heart. Mahaprabhu not speaking, I can fulfill your heart. Somehow Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu speaking, Krishna can fulfill your heart somehow. No problem. Surely Krishna can fulfill your heart. This day Mahaprabhu gone. After that, next day, Mahaprabhu coming with all his devotees, Mahaprabhu knowing that today Haridas is going to leave body. Everything Mahaprabhu knew. With all devotees, Mahaprabhu coming to the place of Haridas and asking Haridas, how you are? Haridas speaking, I am feeling okay. My body is okay, but I am feeling sick with my mind. Asutto asusto buddhimon. What kind of sickness? I cannot complete my Harinam. I cannot complete my Harinam today. It was a rose. Haridas Thakur used to do one lakh Harinam. After that, Prasadam coming can take. Not before that. It was a rose. If Haridas Thakur cannot complete one lakh Harinam, then Haridas Thakur cannot take Prasadam. One day, Govindu bring Prasadam, long ago, I mean, before this incident, one day. Govinda being prasad, here is your prasad, you take. Haridas Thakur speaking, my name is not complete now. I cannot take prasadam. But you bring prasadam, I must give honor. Then taking one drop of prasadam, taking this. Today I am, I cannot complete my harinam, I mean one lakh, I three lakhs. Mahaprabhu used to do, uh, our Haridas Thakur used to do three lakhs of harinam. Three lakhs is not complete, then I cannot take this way. So now Mahaprabhu is going to reach, Mahaprabhu is going to fulfill the heart of Chota Hari, Mahaprabhu is going to fulfill the heart of Haridas Thakur. Mahaprabhu is going to fulfill the heart of Haridas Thakur. Now Mahaprabhu is reaching all with all his devotees, all his devotees, and 
asking Haridas, how you feel? Well, I am feeling, my mind is not, in mind and heart actually, my uh, body is okay, physically I am okay, but I cannot complete my Harinam. So why you are going to do three lakhs Harinam? Why not you do one lakh Harinam? Because you are Siddha Mahatma. You are Siddha Mahatma, you are whole life you are doing Harinam. So why you are going to take care of three lakh Harinam? But still, Haridas Chakur cannot stop, still Haridas Chakur cannot stop doing one lakh, three lakh Harinam. He cannot stop, he is habituated. So that day, particularly that day, Mahaprabhu coming with all his uh, devotees, Swarup Gosai also there, then Mahaprabhu, Haridas Thakur, it was the desire, it was the desire of Haridas Thakur, when I am going to leave my body, it was the desire of Haridas Thakur, when, when I am going to leave my body, then surely I like to see your lotus, see your lotus mouth, Mukha Padma, and I can take all your lotus feet on my chest. This is my desire. When I am going to leave my body, First of all, I can look your lotus, lotus mouth and I can take your lotus feet on my chest and after that I can leave my body. This is my condition. This is my condition. Be careful. So Mahaprabhu is going to fulfill this. Huh? Particularly that day, Haridasya Guru is going to leave body. Mahaprabhu coming all with us, Parikar, everybody. After that, what happened? Haridasya Guru giving indication, prayer. Please come to me. Please, you come near to me. When Mahaprabhu coming, then Haridas Thakur lying half lane. After that, looking at the lotus mouth of Mahaprabhu continuously, continuously, there is no twinkling, looking and taking the lotus feet of Mahaprabhu on the chest. On the chest, after that, singing the name Sri Krishna Chaitanya. Sri Krishna Chaitanya, this name. After that, Haridasa Guru left body. Left body. Then Mahaprabhu started crying. Mahaprabhu speaking like Pitama Vishwa. Pitama Vishwa took resolution to leave body after watching Krishna. So this is the I we all remember, we all remember the case of of that Pitama Vishwa. Mahaprabhu speaking, we remember the, remember the case of Pitama Vishwa who left his body, his full consciousness. Now, after taking Haridas Thakur, Mahaprabhu crying and speaking, Haridas was the jewel of this earth. Haridas was the jewel of this earth. Somehow, this earth is going to lose this jewel now. Haridas, Chila, Pithivir, uh, Ratno, but now Haridas gone. So when Haridas wanted to leave body, we could not keep Haridas. When Haridas took resolution to leave body, then we could not keep Haridas anymore. Haridas gone. Now after taking the body of Haridas Thakur in the lab, Mahapu started dancing like crazy. Weak dancing. After that, devotees they are going to make one, you know, one, one arrangement by the help of which they can take the body of Haridas Thakur and they can carry, you know, for like plank queen. Yeah, simply like plank queen, their arrangement and all devotees are going to carry Haridas Thakur. And Haridas Thakur was taken, at present the place is Sargodwar. At present, the, at present, the name of the place is Sargodha. There they are going. And after that, Mahaprabhu taking the body in the ocean, and after that, taking the water of ocean, and washing the body of Haridas Thakur, taking the water from ocean, and washing the body of Haridas Thakur, this way. And after that, Obishek. This is called Obishek. After that, Mahaprabhu speaking to the ocean, Today you are the topmost pilgrimage. You are going to wash the body of transcendental Haridas Thakur. Now you are going to wash the lotus feet of Haridas Thakur. So you are topmost 
pilgrimage at present in the world. Mahaprabhu already told. So now, you understand, no? this is the topmost pilgrimage. From then onward, it becomes topmost pilgrimage. Anyway, Jagannath is there. Anyway, topmost pilgrimage. That. After that, Mahaprabhu took the body. Now at present, it is the Samadhi Mandir of Haridas Thakur. In Sargodhar, in Sargodhar, there is one place. Now at present, we know the Samadhi Mandir of Haridas Thakur. There is Samadhi Mandir. At present, Samadhi Mandir, that time there was no Samadhi. So Mahaprabhu going at the bank of ocean, going to select one piece of land where Mahaprabhu going to dig land. Man, devotees then to, to keep Haridas Thakur under. There is no mud, actually sand. There is no mud, no? mud is there. Going to dig the land. After that, all devotees trying to make the cavity inside which they are going to place Haridas Thakur. Haridas Thakur, they are going to place Haridas Thakur this way. After that, Mahaprabhu giving order who all like to give sand on the body of first mud. First mud, ma first mud means sand, there is no mud. Mahapu is going to give the sand first in the body of Haridas Thakur. Then onward all devotees are going to take ma sand and going to keep on the body of Haridas Thakur. This way, Haridas Thakur, his body was covered up with the, with the sand. After that, Mahapu is going to arrange one tulosi, one tulosi top there. After that, making some barricade arrangement. After that, Mahaprabhu speaking that, that I wanted to keep Haridas, but I could not keep Haridas. Haridas, I could not keep Haridas this way. I wanted to keep Haridas. Param Satantra. Haridas wanted to go away. Now he gone. Anyway, after that, Mahaprabhu himself going to Jagannath Mandir to beg for prasadam because Mahaprabhu like to make one big bandara. Mahaprabhu want to make big bandara but no money. So Mahaprabhu going to Jagannath temple inside and requesting all panda, you all give some prasadam, each of you. You can give some prasadam. I can collect and I can do a festival of Haridas Thakur. For Haridas Thakur, I want to arrange one big festival. So you please give prasadam. That all those are pandas, they're going to give prasadam. Then Saurabh Gosai is going to stop Prabhu. Prabhu, don't do that. Don't, hey, don't give. Sit, sit. Because they are in respective place where they are selling their prasadam, they are taking their place. Then Saurabh Gosai is speaking, each one of you, so many pandas, you all can give some amount of prasadam, not that all. After that, big amount of prasadam was there, big amount of prasadam, all donations, somebody buy, big amount of prasadam. Then, four, five, six men, I mean Panda, they are going to carry prasadam. Uh, Mahaprabhu like to distribute prasadam. Haridas Thakur Samadhi festival, I mean Samadhi, uh, Tiravaptiti festival now. And Mahaprabhu, going to serve himself. All devotees in queue, sitting. Mahaprabhu taking rice this way and going to give to all devotees. Going to distribute. Prasadam, dal, everything. But nobody taking. Saruga say, if you are not going to take prasadam, who can take? So please, you, you can sit fast. After that, Saruga Sai and all devotees putting force, you can sit. Uh, how we are going to distribute, you say, you take prasad. And Mahaprabhu declared that those who are going to take prasadam in the festival, Tirabha festival of Haridas, those who are going to do kirtan in this ceremony, I mean this festival, those who are going to give even, even sand on the body, doing kirtan, they all can get highest success, highest benefit. I mean, indirectly, Mahaprabhu is going to say that you all can come out successful in Nubadi. Those who are somehow, some, somehow somebody is connected with this 
you know, Thiruvaptiti festival. Somebody is going to carry, somebody is going to do kirtan, somebody is going to give water in the body of Mahaprabhu, giving sand in the samadhi, somehow dancing, singing, or even if somebody is going to take prasadam in the festival, they all can come out successful, highest benefit. Mahaprabhu bless them. This way, Haridas Chaku Samadhi gone, and Mahaprabhu day by day, more and more, more and more, Mahaprabhu going into deep anubhav. In, even in Vrindavan Leela with Radharani, this kind of bhav was not visible, so dangerous. Nobody can bear this kind of Leela, where different kind of situation, Mahaprabhu, different kind of bhava, unconscious, sometimes coming out in the, in the garden, looking at a moon god, and getting the smell of jasmine, this, that, thinking that he is already in Vrindavan, Krishna is missing. This way, Bhivinu Bhav. So, I can go on discussing something special all next day. Today, I am going to stop. Tvam bhakti yoga paribhavita hitsaro jo asase Shotekshita patana nanat pungsam Jad jad dhiyatu urugaya vibhavati Tattadabhapu pranayase sadhanu grahayo Bancha kalpudarusi ke baad. Ke baad sanipati. Pavana vaishnav. Pavana vaishnav.